Hey guys, it's Maddie Miller with ERA Heaven or Realty and MaddieSells.com. I'm talking a little bit today about what highest and best actually means. Um, in our market here in Northeast Florida, and not only just here, but around the country, we are seeing a lot of bidding wars or highest and best or multiple offer situations, whatever phrase you want to use. Um, so what exactly does that mean for a buyer who doesn't know, hey, we're going into a multiple offer situation, what do you want to do? Uh, when they hear that situation, it might scare them a little bit. Well, explaining what that means is not as simple as it sounds, but we'll try to get through it and help you understand a little bit more. So what's going to happen typically, a seller is going to receive, uh, they put their house in the market and within you know, a few hours or 24 hours, they receive, let's say, four offers. Okay, what they're going to look at through those four offers, one and the most important and obviously um, is the price. So that's the first thing is the price. Uh, that's the first thing they're going to look for is, hey, am I getting close to asking price for this offer? And the second thing is, what type of financing does it have? Um, the first financing and the best option for financing um, is not financing at all. Actually, it's cash. Um, so if you come and say, hey, I'll give you $250,000 cash right now. We can close in 15 days. The likelihood of, your, of you getting that offer, assuming that the price is close, pretty good. OK, um, they don't have to do um, inspections that are required by their lender. They may not have to do certain types of replacements or repairs on the home. Um, they're very quick to close and they have very little red tape that goes with them. Um, the second and probably the most common one we see um, is conventional. A conventional loan um, doesn't require you to have a government backed agency um, or they're not insured by the government um, like an FHA or VA is. Um, so the conventional, it allows you to put, uh, I've seen them as little as 5% down. You can even get them as little as 3% down now. Um, but those may not require you to do all the repairs on the home um, like an FHA. Um, so an FHA is going to require you to make sure that all the wood rot is fixed on the house. And there's certain inspections that have to go with that. Um, that just being one example is wood rot. Um, we often commonly run into that with FHA loans here in our market because um, we have a lot of homes that are T111. Um, that's pretty normal. So FHA is going to require you to fix all that. And, and, and a buyer and a seller knows that. Um, so they're going to go, okay, well, we have some wood rot. We don't really want to do FHA because we don't, we don't, we don't want to have to replace it. Um, same with a VA. Uh, VA is a government-backed mortgage product for military vets. Um, where they can put very little down on a home and still get it approved. Um, however, they can't do any type of condo typically, even some townhomes are excluded. So it's strictly only for single family homes. And there's also a very strict uh, inspection process with with um, VAs as it's lightning outside my house as so I'm thinking about it. So um, those are the different kinds of financing. So number one, cash is king. Number two, conventional is the best. FHA is very common in our market, but it does come with some inspection criteria. Um, so that gives you a pretty good idea of, of what kind of financing is best and what you're up against. Um, so if you have an FHA loan and someone comes with a finance or a conventional loan ahead of you, there's a good chance that you can probably lose that. Um, or if somebody comes to you, uh, puts, a, puts a cash offer in on a house that you also put an FHA offer in, you're more than likely going to get the cash deal and you're going to lose out on that property. So um, just hope that helps a little bit. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to me at any point in time. Um, all my information is on the website. So guys, take care and have a good one.